Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So I lied, sort of. I went back and I got that secret exit that unlocks 5B, but I forgot there are actually six normal levels in this world. So we're doing the Jelly Jamboree today. It's gonna be quite uh, quite the party. When I was younger, there used to be a store called Jamboree. And uh, it got replaced. It was a grocery store. And it got replaced by another place called Festival. So I'm just thinking, all right, what could come next? And then there was a final store called Carnival. I'm like, I did not know there were so many party themed stores out there. Incredible. But this level is all about the Jello Budim Pop and dying. Oops. <laughs> Good start. My lives, my banana coins, my bananas will all be different. You can recall. I missed that secret exit, which in the last level there is the shark tank. With Dixie's help, has to be Dixie. You can use her propeller power. Swim all the way down. Okay, very cool. Swim all the way down. And grab. So that's how you do it. I don't know how you. Okay. So yes, this this level is all about Jello. It's very strange. Oops. Very fun though to bounce on these. Okay. I recently was. Did I grab that? Yes. For some reason that counted. I recently was listening to a podcast that was all about Jello. Not just Jello itself. Jello is the name brand of gelatin, one of the name brands of gelatin. In the same way that a dumpster, a jacuzzi, and a band aid are all name brands, but you never thought of that, did you? So, yes. All right, now it looks like we need to use this blueberry Jello to bounce on the grape Jello. Grab this. I don't know. Is there anything else I'm supposed to be mindful of here? Hmm? I think this is just introducing the mechanic. It's very nice. I can't say I'm really a huge fan of Jello. Or these bees, which we will probably be encountering before too long. I know there's a level coming up that's all about bees. Something which is actually very terrifying to me. I'm quite afraid of bees and other winged creatures. Not a huge fan. I appreciate what they do for the environment. Bees, at least, not wasps. Those things are the worst. They are the buttholes of the universe. Not a huge fan. But I do know that the value of bees is insurmountable. We need them to pollinate our crops and help us to be able to produce food in a lot of cases, so bees are good. Don't uh, don't kill bees, because if you do, you're no friend of mine. And that means a lot. That carries a lot of weight here at D-Mike Industries. So my friendship is actually one of the most valuable substances in the universe, alongside printer ink. So keep that in mind. Be nice to our to our bee friends. Can you believe it? I haven't been able to get the bee suit very much in Mario Galaxy, so I haven't been able to, unfortunately, make too many bee puns. Which, you know, it behooves me to do so. It's part of my contract. All right. So these little jello platforms are a little, little tricky to figure out at first. We got the penguin in the background bouncing around. Owls are somehow able to maintain leverage to balance the jello blocks in the little rafts of jello on their heads. I feel like this might. Oh, wait a second. Wait one gosh dang second. You thought you could trick me, game. Nope. I do believe that there is one specific spot in this level that I probably will most likely goof. Okay. Ooh, that's a little jiggly. 
That was fun, huh? But yes. Learned a little bit about gelatin. It's made from the... Uh, I don't know if it's grinded up or if it's like boiled and then dehydrated. But it's made from animal bones. Which is why it is not vegan. For those of you who are unaware, vegan means a potential food or other products that are not, that don't contain any animal byproduct. So that's vegan for you. There's the G. So yes, very interesting. Ooh, I thought I was going to miss that. Thankfully I did not. Yes. Jello is not vegan. And... It was not very popular when it first came out. It actually, I remember reading that it took them quite a few years of trial and error to actually get the general public to kind of gravitate towards the Jellos. It wasn't very successful. And oddly enough, one of the very first flavors of Jello was chocolate. So you've all had chocolate pudding, I'm sure, at some point in your lives. Ooh. It was a jello flavor before it was a pudding flavor. Now, obviously, the jello company, or gelatin flavor, I should say. The jello company, I'm not sure if it's its own thing or if it's like part of an umbrella corporation, whatever, makes pudding. So you can get jello pudding, but the gelatin was originally chocolate flavored, one of them, along with other fruits. And oddly enough, as we head into frosty fruits, actually we'd be perfect right around now, it's a bit of a heat wave where I'm at, unfortunately. It's knocking the power out like a bunch of jerks. Thanks, Earth. Actually, should really say thanks, humans. We're kind of the cause of all this nonsense. But, uh, yeah. So... When Jello gelatin was becoming popular, especially in like the late 40s, early 50s, it became a bit of a novelty. And people were hosting parties. They were hosting gelatin parties where they're making all kinds of crazy jello creations. Meant to be food, but from what I've seen and read, it's a little dubious. I'm not sure I would want to eat some of the creations I've seen. Now, when you think of Jello, gelatin, you probably think of the the dessert or like the snack, right? I guess you could have it as either of those things. But um, yeah, that's kind of where the brain goes when you think about it. That was not always the intent. Back in the day, there used to be, believe it or not, <gasps> savory gelatin. Now, if you think that sounds disgusting, it's because you're right. It is. Oh, come back. Come back. Come back. Stop. Whew, that was close. This level and the one that preceded it are both on the easier side, thankfully. So, they're not... Ooh, not too bad this time around. Oh, excuse you. But yes. Not too... Oh, I don't know how to get past this guy. We gotta wait until he shows us his exposed behind. Oh, I guess you can't. <laughs> oh, he's got the. Oh, I see. He's got the spikes on both sides of his spear. What a jerk! So we'll jump over him and slide right past you. Ooh, you see that down there, viewers? A little bit of a sneaky, sneaky. Ride down this slippery treat. Oops. Okay. Okay. There we go. A little hidden alcove for you. But yes, back in the day, many years ago, many eons ago, in 1950s-ish America, we use ish because I don't know the approximation. Actually, I think that is an approximation. I don't know the, the exact amount. And people used to make savory gelatin treats. They'd put meat, vegetables, other kinds of concoctions and have these little parties at their homes. And I don't know if it was like a status thing, 
but yeah, people were dying by spikes. It was a weird time. But I remember looking at a cookbook. And in this cookbook had all kinds of crazy extravagant recipes that you could get. Did I miss one? No, I did. I don't know if that's a... Yeah, I don't feel like that's a puzzle piece if I can do it. But yeah, they would always make these things. I'm just like, man, it was a different time. People want to say that was like the best of times, but I'm like, really? Was it? The best of times was eating hot dogs inside of a, a jello? I think not. All right, I need to go back down in there, I think. No, stop it. Quit. Stop. I don't want to go cool there. I don't know if I can get back. Okay, there we go. I had to roll into it. How do I get in there? Oh, there you go. Ta-da! Well, welcome, viewers. Okay, and then hop right back. All right, now I'm willing to go. Stop trying to force me to go without my consent. But yes, the Jello craze took America by storm. They were really into it for some reason. And I mean, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with Jello. But I don't seek it. There's never been a time where I'm like, man. I would really love to have some Jello. Never. I know that my family really loves Jello cake. Apparently, it's some sort of a crazy concoction where you take a normal cake and then you cut holes in it and then you ruin it by filling it with Jello. So there's that. Well, that was fun. Okay, great. Look, like we're getting kind of near the end of this level. This might be a shorter episode today. Because I feel like this level and the... Okay, I need to have you, sir. Excuse me. Oh, it refreezes. Okay. Well, we're just giving him all kinds of head trauma. Oops. We got squished. Got our life count back up, though. Pretty easy to do with these simpler levels. But you do have to deal with a little bit of ice physics. So we're like gelatin physics? I don't know if that's a thing. Oops, ABD, didn't didn't follow the rules. Oh boy, oh no! <laughs> okay, that was kind of chaos. Don't you love it? But yeah, jello cake, not really my thing. If I'm gonna eat jello, it's probably just gonna be right out of the cup thing that you can get at the store, I guess. That's not, you know, the worst thing. Oh boy. That does not give you time to slow down. But thankfully, we've already basically... Oops, this is not... <laughs> that was not what I was trying to do. Almost made it out alive. Okay, we are doing just fine. All right, I can just sneak right past you. Great. Okay. Totally intended. Spikes will kill you if you run into them. Got a feeling this is going to turn into the little sea urchin section from the last episode, if you remember that. That was a lot of fun. Or whatever those were, those, they're not really sea urchins, they're fruit of some sort. Spiky fruit, like durian or... Whoa! Okay. Alright, so apparently trying to jump when the spikes come down is not a bad idea. Or is a bad idea. I think I have... Yes! Let's go ahead and use one of the Dixie barrels that I bought because I don't want to be doing these levels forever. As much as I love this game. But yes. I know that Jello was a really popular treat if you're like in the hospital. It's an easy thing to eat. I shouldn't say Jello, it's like gelatin because Jello is the name brand like I mentioned before, but the actual food stuff is gelatin. I feel like, oops, I feel like there's some, I feel like the final puzzle piece, if I'm only missing one, is right past it. I'm missing two, oops. We'll have to come back. But I do feel like the, the final one might be, okay. We're doing great, everything is fine, everything is just 
fine. Do, don't you dare panic. Don't you dare close your eyes. Okay. So yeah, with like the whole, the whole jello thing, it is, it's a, it's a thing that I don't really have like much of a, um, like a childhood connection to. I'm not really much of a pudding person either. One of the things that I struggled with was as a kid, Taking the old medications. Couldn't do pills very well. So, my mom, in her infinite wisdom, was like, you know what's a good idea? If he can't take his pills, let's give him a substance that will help him to take the pills. And it turned out that that substance was vanilla pudding. And if you can't already guess what type of stuff I hate, it is vanilla pudding so there it is now here's the weird part i can sort of appreciate vanilla pudding when it's in another dessert like in a parfait or some sort of like a like a cake like if it's like in a layered cake or something like that if it's got like a custardy kind of pudding texture inside of it i can i can vibe with that that to me is okay but just pudding straight out of a cup nope you might as well stab me in my face you will see a very visceral reaction. Very, very painful. Can't do it. Okay, so we have everything so far. And I feel... I'm almost certain that the... Okay. I'm almost certain that... Oh my gosh, I cannot figure this out. No game, I don't need your help. All right, back off. Let's get Dixie in here just because I'm tired of having to redo this. I bought a bunch, as you can see. Use those hard earned banana coins for good to bring the Kong Panion with us. The game's kind enough to spot me the pity balloon every time. You love that. Well, this would be really fun to do if I was actually good at like speed running or cared about it. It's kind of a neat little thing, huh? Totally intentional. 100% planned. There's a little bit of ABD for you. So we're going to have to come back here. I believe I missed. Nope. Oh, I did miss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, this is what I thought. There's a hidden puzzle piece here right at the end. But we're missing one, so we'll have to come back. Okay, so I don't know exactly what it was. I might have missed a, it might have been a bonus, maybe. But that unlocks everything, so we will quickly come back. It's always really fun whenever I do these levels and then I forget something right at the beginning. Because then I get to play the entire level all over again, and you get to see it. In its entire. It's for your health viewers, don't worry. It's good for you. This music kind of reminds me of Animal Crossing a little bit, like when it snows. Animal Crossing is one of those games that you just can't not like. It's kind of required, I think, according to the laws of the universe. All right, so I don't think I went in here. Yes, this is what we missed. It's the bonus. I looked at this. And it looked like danger, so I didn't go for it. But the only danger was me making the mistake of not looking at the puzzle piece. Oops! That's okay. We will collect it now. Oops. Oh, you can't go through that. That's kind of lame. It's fine. We got it. Boom. I mean, that would have been a first try for both of these levels if I would have done them correctly. That would have been awesome, huh? Yeah, what are our, uh, what are some of our favorite snacks, viewers? What are, what are the treats that really, oops, that really get us going, you know? What, what would you say? I don't, what, what am I, I say, what, what, what am I doing here? How do I, 
Oh, it's, I didn't see the watermelon down there. I'm like, how do I do this? It's like, I could have sworn I beat this level once already. If I'm gonna blow through all my Dixie barrels, that's okay. Yeah, what are what are some of our favorite treats? Do we like popsicles? We have popsicles on our base. That's a deep cut. It's almost. I mean, no, I mean it is summertime. It's not officially summertime yet. We have not hit the summer solstice yet. That happens in July, I believe. It's June presently as I'm recording this. So it has not happened yet. But it will be. Don't worry. It happens every year. Okay. We'll take it the long way. Yes. Summertime is coming up and with it, the unbearable heat wave that I can't stand. Not much of a summer boy. Get Dixie in here again, because I just want to do this in one more try. The present one. And not have to deal with this. Ooh, I almost didn't do that fast enough. It's nice, though, that it refills all of your hearts. Once you bring your companion in. Okay, so we're almost done. This is probably a bit of a waste, but... I didn't want to risk it. Not a risky boy. I'm not really into risky business. There we go. First try. For both levels, pretty pretty impressive, I would say. All right. So now, now we can officially go and take on 5A and 5B. I don't know if there were six normal levels of every world or not. Not 100% sure, but we have them unlocked now. And before we finish, before we finish everywhere, we're going to go ahead and get some toys. Let's go ahead and get our 10 requisite toys here. See if we get any new ones. Ooh, a walnut toy. Nice. So far, we've only gotten one, but the last episode, or the one before that, we did really well. I feel pretty good about that. Pretty good is what I just said. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, only got one. That's alright. We will ride that juicy wave, don't you worry. Funky. Okay. Then next time we'll be taking on 5A the Beehive Brawl. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll see you next time. Stay cool out there. Bye.